If you've already watched our using the retirement forecaster in Aviva's My Workplace video, this video shows you how to use the optional ways to take your pension money feature. To get the best out of this video, it's worth making sure that the retirement forecaster includes all of your pension entitlements. We covered this in the using the retirement forecaster in Aviva's My Workplace video. So if you haven't seen that, it's best to start there. The retirement forecaster is easy to find in My Workplace. After logging in, click on details to get into your account. If you have more than one account, we recommend using your active account as it will already know the current contributions that you and the company are paying. Next, click on overview and then scroll down to the future of your pension to get started. If you're using the app, the navigation is slightly different. Log in and tap on workplace retirement account, making sure that if you've got more than one account, you use the active one. Then from the manage tab, tap on the future of your pension. So in this section of the Aviva website, this one uh, will show you exactly how you can use your money for various retirement incomes options. Um, so as usual with the with the site, you kind of scroll through and uh, just look and click on everything and make sure that you're happy and comfortable with what it's saying to you. Uh, this one, obviously, you know, we've already added in uh, some pensions in there from elsewhere. So that is the person's current pension here in the Savings Trust. We also added in a couple of other defined contribution pensions, uh, one there from Prudential at uh, twenty thousand pounds, and that's just the fund value uh, that you would see on your uh, on your account, and one with another employer, um, a random one there, to just ten thousand pounds there. Again, that's a defined contribution uh, scheme, just like the Rolls Royce Retirement Savings Trust. So we wanted to include the state pension in the mix, uh, so that's included in there. You can see that's confirmed on this. And we also added in uh, a little Rolls Royce UK pension fund defined benefit pension of uh, 4,000 a year. Uh, and we just put that one in there just to just to show a little bit of extra uh, color in, in, in terms of uh, when you're looking at things. So basically that was all set up uh, when we did the previous presentation in the retirement forecasters. So again, if you did want to change those again, it's just that explore changes button there is the way that you would go in and, and sort that one out. So if we just continue to step two here, um, the next thing is going to ask us if we want a tax-free cash lump sum or not. So for this, uh, for the sake of, of this presentation, we'll do what most people do and say yes that we do. And then it will ask us how much we want again, because you could come back into this and try all sorts of different options. So, you know, just have a play around with it. Always the best thing to do with these uh, types of systems. Um, we'll leave it at 25 percent there. And it says what age do you want to take the, the tax free uh, lump sum at? And so you can you could in theory, I think in some schemes you can choose different times and you could have it earlier and then leave the rest of your pension in. Obviously, with our scheme, uh, you do have to have uh, left the company before you can start playing with it and, and, and kind of taking stuff out of it um, and, and things like that. So, um, again, that might be something you want to investigate when you're talking with your advisor or something like that. But I think what we'll do is play it conventional here and we'll just say we'll take the maximum 25 percent and we'll keep it at the same age that the person is going to retire. So all you need to do is click on step three and it all works away in the background and it comes up with our retirement options. Uh, now there's option one and option two, so we'll start with option one first of all, and this is um, the guaranteed income for life, which is also known as an annuity in pensions jargon. So effectively, it's like carrying on having your wages effectively, uh, you're just um, you're just going kind to of get a monthly payment coming in, it's going to be taxed, uh, no national insurance, which is always a good bonus for, for you once you retire, but it's just like income basically. Uh, explains all about that there, obviously in the key features. So for this person with the 25% tax free cash lump sum, the estimator, because they're a few years off, uh, there's a little bit of a span of, uh, of figures there because we can't be incredibly certain. So that's the kind of like depending on the performance of the fund, really. So tax free cash lump sum of somewhere between 125 and 151,000. And then their guaranteed income for the rest of their life uh, from age 63 of somewhere between 22 thousand seven hundred pounds and twenty eight thousand six hundred pounds so and obviously as it says there for as long as you live that's guaranteed for 
And then just at the bottom, because we asked it to put in the defined uh, benefit pension and the state pension, it's kind of letting us know that for this person from 67, um, that income is going to go up to 38, between 38 and 44, effectively, because you've just added in that £4,000 defined benefit pension and a state pension of about 11,500. Finally, we can see that that means that the person has a... Uh, fair chance of reaching the uh, moderate retirement living standard. Over on the other side, option two is the flexible income option, which most people know as drawdown. Um, so that's where you uh, your, your money does stay invested. Uh, you take your tax-free cash at the start from it, um, and then you just start uh, taking an income out of it. And you can do that in a, in a regular way. Uh, so you can have it you know, kind of monthly, quarterly, annually um, you could dip into it as and when they're all things that you discuss when you actually uh, get to making your retirement plan so in that case the tax-free cash lump sum as you'd expect is exactly the same um, what we've got at the income uh, level is, is slightly higher here from the uh, the annuity and the reason for that is because it, this is this system is based on uh, things that we've told it in the past um, and, and, and what it knows about us. It is kind of basically saying here that there's um, that it's going to give you an income between 27 and 36, and that has a fair chance of lasting until you're 89. Because unlike the annuity, it's not guaranteed. Uh, the annuity will be paid for the rest of your life. This one uh, will be paid until the money runs out. It's as simple as that, really. Uh, so there is a chance with uh, drawdown that if you live a long life or you take lots of stuff out um, uh, and, and, and live a long life too, that you know the pot could empty at the end of the day. And also, because it remains invested, although you would want to be investing that in a fairly uh, safe area, Investment performance is going to affect that. You'll obviously hope that it will, will grow and continue to allow you to, to keep sort of taking a little bit more out of it. Uh, but equally, it can go the other way. And uh, so there's more uncertainty with this option. So if it runs out, obviously, at that point in time, then the person is uh, left with their state pension and that final salary pension. So you can see uh, down at the bottom there, although it's it's lovely from age 67, 42,000 to 51,000. Um, if the money runs out, then we're down to fifteen and a half thousand, which is quite a drastic uh, drop. But of course, the person then is eighty-nine years of age. I think uh, most people who are kind of in their late eighties, early nineties that I know uh, probably aren't doing quite as much in terms of getting out and about uh, as they were when they were kind of sixty-three. So uh, read into that what you will, uh, but it's just to, to let you know that obviously we draw down quite a bit of flexibility probably get a little bit more income up front when you might be more likely to uh, use it, need it, um, but there is always that risk uh, that it could run out. Of course, another option you might discuss with your advisor is that you could have drawdown for a certain amount of, of time, uh, and then when you're getting a little bit older, you might swap what's left in your account for an annuity just to bring that certainty at the end. But again... Thanks for watching. If you'd like to learn more, our YouTube channel has further videos to help expand your knowledge. Search Rolls-Royce Pensions on YouTube and choose the Understanding the Rolls-Royce Retirement Savings Trust playlist. And if you have any questions about your Savings Trust membership, head to the GBS Employee Hub to get the answers you need.